In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a brief overview of how to set up your laser settings. These are the settings your laser is going to follow whenever you're marking an object. There are two ways to do this. Number one, the most common way, is you're going to program the laser settings for the entire plane or work area. This means that anything you create in this work area, text, graphics, etc., are going to follow the same uniform settings. You can also give an individual object, such as this text string, its own settings, and we'll come back to that in just a moment and show you how to do that. As you've learned in an earlier tutorial, right now nothing is selected, therefore the plane or work area is my active object. So if I go to the right to my tab system, I can see the laser tab for the plane. This is where I'm going to program my laser settings. Right off the bat at the top, I want to address that there is a materials library available to you. This is installed automatically when you install your MiniLace Pro software package. This file is placed in the proper directory. Therefore, you should have multiple settings to choose from that are pre-programmed for you. These settings will allow you to quickly and easily choose common settings for common materials and types of marks that you may wish to accomplish on those materials. Now, these settings are also available in the back of your MiniLays Pro software manual as well as the corresponding fill settings that work best with the laser settings as well. So you can see if I wish to anneal or do an aggressive mark or plastics, there are some preset materials in here for me. Okay, just to choose those, we would just click on it. There is also the ability to have multiple passages or sets of parameters. If you look down here on passage one, you can see that there are five parameters which I can program. We can increase the sets of those up to three. This is more advanced. We're not going to discuss this in this tutorial. This is not very common for most applications. However, if you feel you have an application that needs this, feel free to contact us at the office and ask for tech support, and we'll be more than happy to walk you through where these settings may be necessary and where they can help you improve your mark. For now, we're just talking about one singular passage and what the settings are for that one passage and how to manipulate them. We're going to talk about power, frequency, and speed. Very briefly, we're going to give you the 30,000 foot view, not the 10,000 foot view. We're going to discuss passes just briefly. Dot delay we will not discuss. This applies to bitmaps and JPEGs. You can read more about this in your MiniLays Pro software manual, as well as Wobble is also an advanced feature. We're not going to talk about this in this tutorial, you can look in your MiniLays Pro software manual to learn a little bit more about Wobble and where it may be useful to you. Okay, so power, very simple. Power is the percentage of available power you are utilizing. Therefore, if I had 10 watts, we could make the assumption that at 100%, we are using approximately 10 watts plus or minus 10%. At 90, 90% of that available 10 watts. 80, 80%. Okay, it's not an exact science, but it's very, very close. In general, you're going to be working close to the top of the wattage of your system. Meaning, if you were down below 60 to 70% on a routine basis, you probably have more wattage than you needed to begin with. So in most settings that you see under your materials library and in your mini lace pro, you will see we're typically at 80 to 90% or higher. And we typically don't go below that. Now there are some very specialized applications where you may require a lower power setting. However, you've probably discussed this with your Tecma technician or salesperson ahead of time. And they have helped you with these settings up front to get them programmed. So power, very simple, how much power are you using? Shot frequency, this is the frequency in which the laser is pulsing. The reason we pulse the laser is to get the peak power up. So we're basically holding it back and gating the laser beam in order to gain more energy per each piece of light. It's very similar to holding a garden hose in your yard and just letting the water run. If you were to place your thumb over top of the end of that garden hose, build up pressure and release your thumb in intervals, that water, each time you release your thumb, that water will come out with much more impact than it normally would if you just held the 
the hose out in the yard. This is a very simplistic way to compare the two. The frequency goes from 15,000 on the mini lay system up to 150,000. To give you a basic explanation of how the frequencies can affect materials, the lower frequencies tend to be more aggressive. However, they're coming less often. So they provide less heat, but they are more aggressive. The higher frequencies are less aggressive into the materials, but provide more heat because you have pieces of light hitting the material more often. And then you have settings in between. And if you work with your laser in the presets in the materials library, you will see very quickly the difference in how the frequencies react with the material and you'll slowly learn where you need to be in order to accomplish. If you would like to learn more about frequency and how that works, you can contact a Tecma technician and they can give you a further insight into that. Scan speed, very simple. Scan speed is the speed that the laser beam is moving across the surface of the material. If I had a straight line and the laser was moving linear in a straight line across the surface, right now we can see it would be moving at 50. That is millimeters per second. So 50 millimeters per, per second, approximately 2 inches per second, is the speed that the beam would be moving. So as you would notice a slower speed the laser beam would be dwelling in a singular location longer than if you had a faster speed the laser beam would be moving uh, very quickly and you would have less dwell time at any single point so the faster you're moving the less affected your material is by the laser beam so power frequency and speed have multiple combinations that will affect not only different materials in different ways, but also singular materials in different ways. For example, if we had a single piece of stainless steel, by changing these settings in conjunction with fill settings, we can really come up with a lot of different looks to our mark. Passes is very simple. Passes is strictly the number of passes of the laser. Uh, for those particular settings. So for example, if I took this number to five, five times it would process this Tykma text with power, frequency, and scan speed settings shown here. So a very general explanation. Now, in order to program a singular object to react differently than the overall plane, we would click on this object and select it, now making the text string the active object, come over here to laser, and now you can see we have the ability to enable custom parameters. So we can turn on these custom parameters. And now if I chose settings that were different than the overall settings for the plane, my item will turn blue. That is telling me that this object has its own settings. It will follow its own group of settings. It will ignore what everything else is doing and we will get a different look to that mark. The number one mistake people make is they program all of their items they, they're on their last text string that they've set up and before deselecting they come over here and turn on their custom settings. They end up programming their laser settings for one text string only and they do not program for the entire plane which means this is the only text field that would look correct and any other text fields they have created may not look correct. I always encourage you that if you don't intend for something to have custom settings that differ from everything else that you do not have a text string that is blue. So I'm going to turn that off. So before I ever set laser settings, I always recommend to click off so that the plane is the active item and set our laser settings under the laser tab. This covers laser settings. If you want more explanation, uh, feel free to contact us at Tykma 877-318. 9562, and we can give you further instruction and education on laser settings and materials processing.